you welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. It's time to review what went down yesterday in the semi-finals of the ITO Cup. Uh, four teams uh, were left yesterday, but are now uh, just to uh, remain standing, Canopillas and Rangers International of Enugu. Very interesting scorelines uh, to talk about. We'll talk about Rangers, how they managed to stage a remarkable comeback against Nasser United. 2-0 down they yeah. were in that game, Shalara Rogers, and I thought, okay, we're about to see one of the biggest upsets, uh, you know, in, in, in cup history in Nigeria. But Rangers are uh, showed champion stuff uh, to come back and win uh, pretty comfortably. 4-2 uh, ended uh, for the Flying Antelopes. Uh, the other semi-final pairing matchup was played right here in Lagos at the Agege Stadium uh, between Canopillas and Katina United. Northern Derby expectedly was a very tough one, closely fought uh, encounter. Ended 2-all after regulation time. And uh, went straight to penalties. Canopillas emerging for one winners uh, on the day. Shola, I mean, which of these results uh, would you say was unexpected? Both of them were very dramatic. Both of them okay. were very interesting. Uh, both of them had two teams coming down, coming back from being two goals down. You know, it's, it's wow. amazing how Nasarawa put two pass Rangers in quick succession, and we're like, okay, what's, what's going, going on here? Yeah, you know, and uh, they fight back by. The flying antelopes was amazing. It was beautiful. I'm like, this is a good advert for Nigerian football. That exactly. Week. Yeah. I must say kudos to the Rangers team, the management, but especially to the tacticians. Benga. Benga or Gubote for whatever he might have done. Whatever he to, told his I don't know what he told them, <laughs> boys, but they just came back and it was very, very interesting. And uh, we had our eyes on them. Um, a gege and everybody was talking about yeah, it. Uh, look, how is it going to happen? Can, how can Kano Pillars go two goes down? To it's the that. it's the magic oh. of the cup. Nasarawa was going to pull it off. Kasina was going to do because on paper we know that Kano Pillars is bigger than um, Kasina. Yeah, I'm happy that Pillars got something out of it, and they are not going to give us a fantastic final because Enugu Rangers. As the Scano Pillars is poised to two, be. Two very well supported teams. Yes. Two uh, with a good fan base. So that's uh, the fans of Scano Pillars. A lot of people talk about the encroachments. This is a dampener now, for me. This is a dampener, really. Yeah, because I, I, I don't think this should have happened. We've all been to Agege a couple of times. There's this uh, metal fence, and it's Guys well monitored. Little, so yeah. I don't know how. Uh, this happened, and uh, we shouldn't let this kind of things happen because it could lead to chaos. It could yeah. lead to um, even a breakdown in law and order. The organizer should really, really work hard on security. This should not happen again. It shouldn't. All right. Uh, you see pictures of the penalty. You talked about the penalty <laughs> um, for pillars. Scored all their four penalties. It, 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 just one out of three. It shows that um, two, it, it was probably nerves. Or that Kasina were not practicing penalties. We're not ready at all. When you're in a cup tournament, you always must end trainings or start trainings with penalties. Penalty and you pick your top five guys and all of that. You get so um, <laughs> well. Penalties are a part of the game. Pillars yes. were ready for it, mm. but sadly, um, Kasina were not. It's a very cruel way to lose a game. It is, but it's a part of the game. To avoid getting to penalties, you had 90-something minutes yeah. to steal yeah, the deal. Time, you know, yeah. you were leading. <laughs> so what happened, you know? You threw it away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's um, you know, take but, some, yeah. but I don't know if this was... Is this, the next thing I'm about to say is on your rundown or not, but it's a bittersweet feeling for me. B bitter in the sense of organization of this ITO Cup for this year has been very short. We're going to come back to that in a bit now. I so just let me, kind of let me hold my... lot to say about <laughs> that. So let, as let, I told let, him, let I, told to, I wasn't feeling the buzz or mm, anything. Nah. Before we do that... Uh, mm -hmm. let, let's let's take some reactions. That's what we're about to do. Ibrahim yeah. Musa, interim manager of Kano Pillars, and what he had to say immediately after that game. Mm, I'm happy. Winning is the winning. But it's not the way I'm thinking. Before I know... Uh, we can't beat Kazana easily because Kazana too are they are they're a good team because they beat Kwara and they come as a runners up from the uh, Emba side. So we know we are winning, as I told you. So we, are, we can't get it easy. But we know why the problem is because we can't score two goals at the same time. So to come to equalize that two goals, we know where the problem is. When we go back to the drawing board, we have to work hard. Work hard, and the, if you look at the chances we missed, so two things happen in this match: lack of defensive error and the selfish in attack. 
All right, so uh, Ibrahim Musa uh, having his say uh, in that one. Maybe we just uh, take the little matter of the other coach on the mm -hmm. losing side, Abdullahi before his immediate reaction after that game, and we'll come back for more. It's first this morning. It's a game that about win, no We thank God for the 2 0, and we put our efforts. We see that we make sure that we are close again. We thank God that we are close again and end for the uh, that it's, it's not easy. Some things are really that they reach the stage where they are because we thank God we reach the stage. And we want to say thank God. And by good grace, you know, for next season, we all put our best out. Play better. Maybe today is not our day. Truly, we play the game. Even Pilar, they're a good team. But our head thought is not. It's not good for us to win the game. Okay, so there's some, some of the players uh, reacting to uh, the game. But you, you had the responses, uh, the, you know, joy of victory, pain of defeat, and uh, coming from both camps. Someone's got to lose. For you to win, someone has got to lose. So mm -hmm. um, uh, good luck to them. Uh, hopefully they'll be back next season. But I'm looking forward to the finals. Uh, October 24. <laughs> Rangers kind of feel as... Oh, what a game. What a game that is. So before, we, before we do that, mm -hmm. uh, let's, uh, let's focus a bit uh, on that one, uh, the matchup between Rangers and uh, Nassau sure. United. Yeah. Another fight back, another comeback uh, win. Now, you mentioned that uh, Wenger, uh, Ogun Ogun Bote. Bote. Uh, you're giving him all the credit. Uh, but, uh, no, no, what? not all. Okay, not all. a lot was, of the credit. You know, I said the management and the yeah. players, but the tactician came to four. He actually... Mm -hmm. Must have done something to rejig that team and mm. then, for them oh, to come back. Oh, ginger them! Yeah, like yeah, I mean, they scored some incredible goals as well. Yeah. Too. I mean, look at the nice passage from, of from play open there. Play. Look at that. Good finish as well. You, you know, this game could have ended five two actually, not okay. even four two. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was one goal that was actually disallowed. Allowed, Shut off. Right. <laughs> so it shows you how great I'm Rangers were. I, 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 I can't flying. believe I'm saying this because I know some Rangers fans are watching and they're. And, and they're gloating. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's only right they, they gloat. I mean, that was a fantastic uh, comeback for uh, Rangers International. We're going to see another goal in the beat now. Look, 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 look at the pass. Look at the finish. We we'll see this kind of goals Straight on Straight through the on middle of the pack. Yeah. You know? Oh, my God. Fantastic. That was beautiful. Fantastic. Let's take a post-match post, uh, reaction uh, from the coach of um, Rangers as well as uh, Nasara. Uh, what I have to say. Uh, after that incredible, uh, dramatic game in the IT Cup semi-final, the you know the mindset of the players. We felt, having defeated the champions, I mean uh, the former champions, uh, no team should beat us. So I think we came with that mindset. I was just waiting for one goal at one half, that half, and thank God we got the goal. You see, uh, the, the thing is, if we if we look at the numbers of goals we missed in the first half, one will be built, one will have that confidence that we can still make it. The game is highly contested, but we. My boss in the second half, the field is the game is over. So I think overconfidence now came in, and that's why we lost the game. There's no way, uh, it's not easy. Look at, uh, if, if you look at the team, I have about five, six young boys that just come in. For that goalkeeper and some other people, they are from FIDA's team. I'm just using this tournament at least to expose them for next season. And luckily, they will learn, they are, at least they have learned their lesson. You can see my first goalkeeper and some other people, they are there. They are leaving the club, and some other people have to take over from them. So that at least anybody that know me, know me with developmental program with young players. So that's what I'm doing. For, I did for National United. I think as far as I'm, as, as I'm concerned, I'm not disappointed. Kabiru <laughs> Dogo there, not disappointed. Uh, for for once. Despite uh, uh, throwing away a two-goal lead, very, very... For once, I don't know about you, Shola, but for once, I'm happy to see Dogo not complain about the referee. Oh, really? I hear that, <laughs> Is that a reputation for that? I hear that a lot. Maybe it's just me, but for yeah. once, I'm yeah. happy he's not complaining about the referee. I, I, I would pretend I didn't hear what you <laughs> said. Uh, what I picked out from everything he said is actually the talk about um, exposing young players. A lot of young you know, players that, in the Some of the players in that team... We're from the feeder team. Yeah, mm. just threw them in. That's good for Nigerian football. Mm. We have talent in this country. Right. Big ups yourself, coach. You had the, like we say, lever mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. put those guys, those guys in that kind of game. Interesting. You know, Interesting. It's good. So, it's good for so, Nigerian football. So, so that's it there. Uh, confirmation uh, of the final, which will be played uh, on the 24th of October uh, between Rangers International and Kano Pillars. Uh, the venue is uh, Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba, so you can always keep that date uh, somewhere 
where you can easily uh, find it. We're not forgetting the women. They were also uh, in action uh, yesterday. Ibon Angels are 2-0 winners over a dope queen. So they advance to the final where they'll take on either Rivers Angels or Bios the Queens. That one will be They'll be open to the second time lucky. They were in the final last year. Lost to, to Rivers Angel. And uh, interestingly, that was a petition against Rivers Angels and uh, the NFF starts on it yeah, and sunshine by Sunshine. And uh, let's just basically say that has been thrown out uh, for, for lack of merit, if I can put it that way. Uh, the opposing side couldn't establish uh, their case. But Ibom Angels, a good one. Another bite of the cherry? Another bite of the cherry for Ibom Angels. I'm glad that they are there. Um, Rivers Angels, however, on the other hand, have a final before a final to play. Mm -hmm. yeah, Biosa Queens, well, if you follow Nigerian the, the football, football yeah. you know Biosa Queens is a top, top team. Mm -hmm. uh, they've always been at the top, you know, in the past uh, 10 years or so. So um, that one is the final. I would have preferred that Biosa Queens as the final. As the finals against Rivers Angels, but hey, uh, the bracket has said otherwise. Friday is going to be interesting for them. Mm. Let's see how it pans out. All right, all right, so wish um all the teams all the but best. But my money's on uh, Rivers Angels. Oh, interesting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're confident. Yes, I am. Yeah, good yes. one. We'll see how it pans out.